Hey YouTube, this is RoadDog326 coming at you with a very exciting review. Uh, I couldn't be more excited to finally have found a Pursuit of Cobra toy. Uh, uh, some Toys R Us's have been getting in some early shipments of mainly just the vehicles that I've heard of for the first two Bravo vehicles, which was the Wolfhound, which I also picked up, and the Cobra Hiss Tank. Um, <laughs> I, I, once I heard that people were talking about finding these at the store, I started checking my, my local Toys R Us's just about every day, and I went into mine today, not really hope, well, hoping to see it, but not really expecting to. And I go into the G.I. Joe section, you know, I find what I usually do. I picked up a one of the, the later waves of um, the, the shipwreck, the Arctic Assault shipwreck with the... It came with, like, the M1 Garand gun and, like, it was, like, the repaint of the Ice Viper. I was like, I might as well get this. Because it turned out today it was buy one, get one 50% off for G.I. Joe stuff. And I found this in the Wolfhound, the only two left. I I was giddy. I was giddy with excitement, for lack of a better word. And I picked them both up. Here's the receipt. I know people like to see receipts sometimes. G.I. Joe Bravo Vehicles. Uh, buy one, get one 50% off. Well, as you can see, one of them was reduced to twelve fifty. Total, $40.57 with tax. It was a steal. It was a great deal. Uh, but, better get this started as soon as possible, because it might be longer. We'll start with the box, as I like to do. Um, you're looking at the front here. It's a very, very rectangular box. You know, the Rise of Cobra had sort of a, a different design, but this is more of a box-shaped box. Um, very, very strong plastic. Or, and when I say plastic, I mean cardboard. Um, uh, you can see the front pretty much. Uh, not really much to say about it. You know, you got the Hiss Tank. It says Cobra Hiss Tank version 5, dual attack modes, the new G.I. Joe symbol kind of thing. On this side it says Cobra Hiss Tank, and you got a little G.I. Joe symbol. We'll do the back last. On this side you got a picture of the Hiss driver, and a little paragraph that says G.I. Joe is the blah 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 blah. You can pause and read that if you want to. I'm going to try to speed this up so I don't go over time. Top, it's just like the sides. Bottom has the brand new looking file cards let you read that at your own discretion. Um, backside, really like the backside. That's my favorite part. Um, you can see three little sub pictures here for things that it does. Moving treads, which is awesome. Uh, opening front and rear cockpit and re interchangeable weapons. And then you got little bullet points on, on different parts of the picture for spinning Gatling gun. Elevating 360 attack position, working treads, and firing cannon. And then it shows which little mission. You know how there's desert, arctic, jungle, um, city. I'm trying to think if I'm missing any. I don't think I am, but you guys will know if you think of it. But this is part of the desert battle mission. So. Enough about the box, as great as it is. And let's actually get, let's back this up a little bit and throw it in. Beautiful, beautiful vehicle, the Hiss Tank, which has not all but most of the sticker application. Here is it actually has really good customization for the sticker app. Um, so you can see here, it gives you like a couple of every letter in the alphabet and some numbers, uh, some other stickers that weren't necessarily needed to be on there. But when I first saw this, I was like, oh god, there's no way I'm gonna have to put all these on there. But really. Like for here up front, how oh, the um, it says 788. Uh, you can put it, it says on the instructions, you can put any variation of numbers or letters on there. Here's like the instructions, instruction book, sticker application on the back side. Just look like how the Rise of Cobra ones did. Same with the sticker sheet. I'm glad they're sticking with the sticker sheets because it gives me something to do. But let's get on to the Hiss Tank, seeing as how we've already done four minutes and I've only gone over the box. Um, it's got these real moving treads, which are of a. They're kind of stick. They kind of stick a little bit at some points, but rolling back are good. Um, it's like this really fine rubber. 
It's very nice. Um, there is this button on the top here that when you press it, it elevates the hiss tank, as I'm sure you know about that little gimmick already. And from there, it does spin on a ratchet 360, and it does click back in. Um, as said before, it does have interchangeable weapons up here. There's, you know, this one with a launcher, which I'll launch it for you. Launcher is on the front. Blam. Pretty strong. It has this little red button right here for actually moving both the turrets. I wish there was a better angle I could get. Let me try. I'm like right here. See? That's kind of neat. You can inter interchange these, like I said, you know, take that off. You can put this right here, kind of like that right there. This Gatling gun up here, you kind of want to keep it up there because it has this little, like, chain belt, which plugs into that little area. And if you move this part right here, or up here, the Gatling gun, Gatling gun does spin. It almost reminds me of, like, the Mech Alive gimmicks that the Transformers have for their movie line. Boy, I'm, t I'm sorry I'm rushing so much. I'm very excited about this. I'm sure you guys are too. Um, I, I, I wish I didn't have to rush. I wish I was like a partner, whatever it was, where I could have these more than 10 or 11 minutes, but I can't. Um, uh, the cockpit does open up front. You can kind of get a nice view of the inside there. That's like the little handles. It's easier for them to get in the seat. You can move it up and down. And then there's another entrance on the bottom here. If you unpeg this. There's oh, terrible lighting. Just awful. Um, ugh. Okay. Sorry about that. But it this kind of opens up and it's kind of like a roller coaster. You put that over them. It fits all up in there. For the most part, the Hiss tank is, is a great vehicle. Something that I will say that I thought was really weird with both the Hiss tank and the Wolfhound, when you first open them up, you have to put them together, like more than you'd think. You know how, like, in the Rise of Cobra Lion, for example, the Cobra gunship, if you had it, all you had to do for, like, assembly was, you know, attach the, the tail to the main piece. But it... Like, these come in pieces. It When I first opened it up, the first thing that it reminded me of was, like, a model, how they come in pieces. Um, it's not a hard construction, but it, here, I have the, the instructions are actually on there. Uh, you know, you see it starts off like that, and then you have to attach every piece. It, it was a lot trickier for the Wolfhound. It came in several pieces, but um, I'm, I might do an update on, on this review, I'm hoping people will, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people are going to start asking a lot of questions in my comments about things that I've missed or just things that you wonder. And if I can get enough, I'll probably do an update where I go over those things. But as of right now, I'm just trying to cover the basics because I'm running low on time. So, we'll go over the Hiss driver next. Uh, standard Joe articulation. Um, he looks good. I, th I think he's a new mold or at least constructed differently than the most recent Hiss driver. His legs remind me of um, an Iron Grenadier's legs. If anyone could confirm that, that'd be great. But that's what it looks like to me. Uh, he has this nice, like, Cobra body armor that he has. Really good. Can be removed. Um, he does come with a gun. Not a lot of pilots do, but he comes with this Magnum revolver. Which fits in his hands, I think. I, I assume. I know it fits in his right hand pretty well as I put it in. Da, 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 da. Yeah, fits in his right hand. Get it over the left side. Yeah, fits in his left hand really well too. And he also comes with this Cobra Scepter, which I think is the same scepter that the uh, Mail Away Cobra Commander is going to come with. And that can be put in his hand. I don't know why they gave it with him. Um, maybe just as like a... Since it's, it's like the first vehicle to come out for Pursuit of Cobra, it's just like a... I don't know, like a little intro thing, but, uh, yes, that was the Hiss Tank. I know it was a pretty crummy review, had to go really fast. Um, as I said, if I, I would love to hear your questions, and when I get enough, 
I'll make an update video on um, the questions that you asked. But if you can find this at your local Toys R Us's, pick it up, or the Wolfhound, they're both great vehicles. I'll be reviewing that one next, and I'll see you guys later.